Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video we're going to be doing something slightly different. Um, I have a van that doesn't belong to me and I'm going to be doing some work to it. So let me tell you a little bit about it and then let's get started. So as you can see uh, I've made a start on the right hand side of the interior. Uh, genuine factory combi um, so it's got the genuine Volkswagen windows on either side. There's one on the slide door too. And as you can see, I've already taken off all of the uh, plastic trim, the wooden panels and what have you, and also the panels that cover the rear air con. So it's gonna be a slightly different video. I haven't seen many when the carpet line and they keep these in. So it should be a little bit of fun. So this side is where we're at. Uh, I'm just gonna release all of these little clips. Now, you're gonna need a couple of trim tools. I basically use these guys. Um, this first tool. And then with the second tool, pop that in and get rid of it. Uh, now we're gonna be replacing those with these longer trim pits um trim pits these are longer trim panel clips uh, they are from harrison trim supplies um all the kit that i'm going to use in the videos are from there um so for this video we're going to crack on let's get started let's smash this out right so we want to keep that um, we want to keep all of the interior panels because we're going to be carpet lining those and then putting them back up so you can still get access to um, wiring looms and panels and clips and things like that um, just by being able to take these back off. Sweet. Okay, that's all removed. Um, last couple of bits to do is to remove this little trim here. So these are just the Torx uh, 20. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six of them to take out. Once you've removed them all, try not to lose the screws. But that panel can come out. Side step. But what we have to be careful with is it's actually um, got a light on it. So we can't just rip it out um, like I did on my van. Uh, we've got to take it out slowly and then obviously disconnect the light. So these themselves Get down there. So about the footage. It's a little bit wobbly But then we got the light at the back here Another piece removed Just quickly um, Don't worry if these bits don't come out. Just give them a little bit of a wobble uh, And they do come out <laughs> just try not to lose them right so that's that bit let's get the rear carpet out uh, and then we can concentrate on taking the B pillars off and then it's cleaning time just so you can see pop it in give it a little twist pull it out but this flooring is going back in so are the seats so are all the plastic trim panels so I'm going to give these a nice clean up um, and then they can go back in when we finished. Right, so all we've got to do now is pull the floor out. It's pretty clean in here, um, but what we're going to do is going to give it a real good sweep through, a spray down, a wipe. Um, do all the panels while we're at it and then we can start putting the sound deadening on the walls so most of the metal parts but I'll show you that when we get around to it okay what we're using to um, to act as the uh, sound deadening against the van some of this stuff uh, it's from Harrison's uh, trim supplies um, so what we're gonna do to start with is just open this bag up and I'll show you what it is. What it does as well as being a sound deadener, which I'll show you in a moment on a few panels once I've stuck it on, I'll do the old knock test. Um, what this stuff does 
where it's got the, um, I suppose the foil edge as well, it, it helps out with the heat. So obviously it absorbs heat from in the van when it's cold to keep it warm, but then it also can reflect the heat from the outside if it's getting too hot and what have you. Um, so scientifically, uh, it should keep the van cooler and warmer. Uh, and, ob and obviously act as a sound deadener when you're driving around and stuff like that. Um, so what we're gonna do is pretty straightforward with this stuff. Uh, you can either use a Stanley blade or a big pair of scissors. Cut the size you want and apply it to the panel. Well, let's go for that traditional sound test. Uh, so this is the uh, original sound ending, uh, which was on the van already. I'm going to leave it on there. I'm not even going to attempt to try and peel it off. It's doing something anyway, so it will help. Uh, but that's kind of the noise you get uh, from that. And then obviously this piece here is the fresh um, sound ending supplied by Harrison Trims. Much better. You can almost play a drum beat. days so the next step before the carpet line is to add the insulation so this is the stuff that I've got now it's from being you um, I'll stick a link in the description below and that so you can see what's going on but it is literally uh, recycled plastic loft insulation itch free made from recycled plastic bottles. Now it's a lot cheaper from B&Q than it is from most other places. Uh, hence picking it up from there. And what I've managed to get is this stuff. Now it's a little bit thinner. I am gonna have to possibly double it up in places um, at the bottom, but with a little bit of adhesive spray on both this side and this side, it will go up there nicely. Happy days. So, this stuff is really easy to work with. So what we're gonna do is literally, I mean, I'll, I'm just gonna do this real quick so you can see what's going on, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill every hole I can find in this van with this nice, warm cozy insulation so basically you can cut yourself any old shape and then you just cram it in it's pretty much as easy as that um, now the guy that owns this van has still got the seat belts so for this area here I'm literally gonna pop uh, a narrow piece that will fit great scissors eh? an arrow piece that will fit into that little alleyway but won't get in the way of the seat belt mechanism because safety first happy days I can get a bit more in there, a bit more in there you can shove, I mean I could probably, yeah, I mean I can get my hand up in there, so you're going to want to fill that up. Uh, you can get it up in there, you can crease it in behind all these areas. So yeah, I'm going to get cracking with that bit, and I'll catch you guys in a moment. Right, so, ready the carpet on this side. Uh, I'm just going to give the panels another wipe down quickly because um, some of this, although it's, um, I mean, there's a bit of plastic in there actually, like a bottle lid or something. Although it's um, non-itchy, um, you can see it's actually, it's pretty much, it's gone everywhere, the little fragments of it, which is fine, it's okay. Um, I'm outside, well ventilated, so I'm not inhaling any of it, hopefully. Got those bits done. Right, I'm gonna pop these two panels up into this top bit. Now again, I went with the thinner stuff, um, B and Q, again, links below in the description so you can find out what it is. But this stuff's thinner 
um, so I haven't got to try and pull it all apart or I don't have to buy two separate lots but you can still see it works really well in the bottom layers and all in the little bits and pieces so it's good stuff right so in the kit with Harrison stuff you get your trim fix now just making sure I get the lid on properly give it a good shake now you're going to want to possibly wear a mask if you're doing this inside somewhere but I'm outside so effectively I should be all right but I may well put one on when I start working on the carpet in but just a light coat light coat on both and then just stick it on and this will help keep this van lovely and warm job done this is the carpet um, this is like a graphite uh, four-way stretch from Harrison trim supplies and the panels are going to be a lighter grey I think it's like the smoke grey these are I wouldn't say they're essential but they're going to help you out a lot now these are like curved Stanley blades I'll hold that right up there yeah you can see that right so these will help you cut a lot easier you're going to need a few of those you can always use a standard one but you're also going to need a decent trim tool to get right into some of these edges um, you want going to want to be able to get it stuck everywhere right so I've also gone and got my knee pads on because I keep kneeling on the combi seat mounts which is really irritating right so I've taken the B pillars off as well um, what I'm planning to do is overlap the carpet slightly around the top and slightly around the edges then obviously when I've finished I can tidy it all up okay so I'm going to start over this side um, mainly because then I can cut this big panel out and still get in and out of the van and what have you and be able to use it so I'm going to want to overlap it slightly to get the right bit so I'm going to go right up into this corner because I'll be able to trim it back along the roof I'm going to go right in along this side here so I'll be able to trim it in along there now I suggest you work in stages and you don't just blast the glue everywhere and because it is adhesive you're going to need to stick it on both parts so the van and the carpet now you're going to get a bit of overspray try not to panic uh, with a decent solvent and a nice cloth you can gently work it back off so let's get started so I'm going to work right up here first just in that piece there so again on the carpet You can almost like, you know, have a patch you've done, you can mirror the same sort of size on the carpet. All right, so let's get the carpet up in position. I'm gonna start just here. And I'm gonna be able to fold it underneath that little bad boy. Okay, so now it's all a question of getting it smooth in the areas okay so using your trim tool you can smooth out everywhere now I'm gonna trim it back in places so I'm not overly concerned if it's looping over that edge there what I want to make sure is that I haven't run out and I haven't got enough to fill it in happy with that bit I'm gonna work on to this next bit here I'm gonna go all the way across the top I'm going to work my way down. So again, spraying onto the van first. I'm just going to do a little bit here this time. Onto the carpet. Keep 
keep a bit of tension on it. And smooth her out. Again with your trim tool, making sure you're getting into all the nooks and crannies. And we're here. So again, next bit along there, gonna try not to coat the metal the uh, wire in loom in it, but it's not gonna damage it as such. It's just a bit of a pest where you need to try and remove it. So keeping a bit of tension. You can see all the grooves are starting to appear in the van. There you go, there's a bit there. Well, I haven't stuck in much glue there at all. You see what I mean? You use a trim tool, digger in, see the line of the van. Trim tool, where are you? So using your trim tool, you can get it into all the little nooks and crannies because you want it to look as factory, if not better as possible okay last corner here i'm going to go up onto the roof a little bit just so when i make the cut and do the join across the top here it's a little bit easier so it's on a bit higher up okay keeping the tension up in there now straight away there look i've got a crease now if you're quick enough, you can pull it back off and stick it back on. But what you don't want to be doing is having to do that a lot of the time. So that's the whole of the top edge done. What I'm going to do now is just get that bit stuck around there slightly and pushed into here. Use my trim tool again, making sure that I'm getting into all the corners. And then we'll start working our way down. Now, you guessed it. This is probably the hardest bit. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, this is probably the hardest bit. Now, you've got a lot of excess carpet that you're going to want to be able to pull out, stretch out, shape it, stick it, you name it. So what we're going to do is just do it bit by bit and I'm probably going to start in the centre and get the centre of the wheel arch done and then work my way round it. A bit more on top of the wheel arch here. Just in the middle. Come in a bit. I mean, it's it, it is tough. This bit, I have to admit, um, it's going to take me a, a while longer yet to finish it, but it'll be worth it. Because this van will look peachy. Wow, bang, wow, bang, wow, wow, wow. Right. Jack point. So, what I chose to do, I don't know if you can see that or not, is literally just trim round. Uh, where it attaches now obviously if I need to get access to a couple of other bits like along here um, Then I will have to just trim it trim it all off um, and sadly have it all on show But I'll be able to tuck a bit of carpet under so it'll look quite smart But yeah Let's carry on See where we get to Happy days Right I've got a little bit left to do, uh, but now what I can do is start trimming a little bit of this excess up. Now what I like to try and do is leave, um, I guess an inch or two from the edge, 
so that the carpet itself sits underneath the matting or the flooring or whatever you're doing so look I'll just show you this piece here I mean I'll probably glue that down actually in a second but just so it fits nicely it's nice and nice finish really you get a nice edging so I'm gonna go ahead and get that sorted cut my door out and then we'll look at redoing the trim on the door happy days okay that side is done and all trimmed up I'm gonna put the B pillar back on and the door trim for the sliding door and then we'll get started on the other side so that's the left hand side the big panel at the backs in uh, slightly different grey to the metalwork around the seat belt and the sliding door now I've got to on this side now I'm on this side I've got my uh, sound deadening in uh, I've also kept the original Volkswagen stuff uh, there's no point getting rid of that it must have done something in its past um, so it can carry on working um, I'm about to take out the B pillar um, and then fit all of the um, insulation in and then happy days catch you guys in a sec and I'll show you what I've got up to so this is what the van's looking like at the mo we've got both sides of the metalwork all carpeted in like the graphite grey um, and then some of the wood panels are done in the smoke grey um, just like this so let's go and take a look at the process how to do that so what you want to do is cut yourself a piece of carpet uh, that's the right size to cover the board um, that leaves like a couple of inches around the edge so so you guys can see if you flip it over I've got an edge all the way around this carpet which will give me plenty enough to play with so first things first if you've managed to carpet the inside of your van this part is gonna be pretty straightforward now there's plenty of ways you can do this obviously right ways wrong ways different ways all sorts of stuff but what I tend to do is get the carpet in the right position when I'm happy that it's in the right position I'll just fold one side or one edge over and that's the edge I'm going to start with so apply, apply your adhesive onto the panel and then work onto the carpet just be careful not to overspray onto areas of the carpet that are going to be on show once you've done that make sure you smooth it out nicely laying it out if you get any little errors I mean I haven't got any there but if you get any errors just quickly whip the carpet back and then smooth it back out again if it doesn't quite take just add a little bit more glue right so that section there is done so I can peel this right over so I don't have to hold it now it makes it a little bit easier so again just working in small sections um, I tend to do I mean you can go you can you can go for it and do the whole panel I tend to go for three sort of columns of the spray or rows of the spray. And then all I do now, working from the center, push my hand forward and then I've got the dodgiest table in the universe and I'll just put that on the floor there you can work the sides out too nice peel it back and then we'll go for this last section in one so one last time you guys are probably bored of my voice by now which is fine I get a little bit bored of it too so nice amount of glue onto the panel 
and again onto the carpet making sure try not to go onto the area that's going to be on show don't panic if you do a good adhesive remover will get rid of that um, I'll grab the one and just hold it to the camera I, I tend to use it for making any errors so pull it out keep it nice and straight made a mistake that's fine go back smooth it through work it to all the edges job done now flip her over and we're going to look at doing the edges now there's a few ways you can do the edge um, you can literally just fold it all over and glue it down but you get these like tufty bits on the end and then you see people just shaving them off and stuff but I like to try and work around each corner and each length sort of individually so I cut little sections okay they're almost like um, what would you call them I'm just going to spin around here for a second it's almost like triangles so what you can get is each piece lapping onto it nicely now if you've got a corner which we'll get to in a second like a straight corner this is more like a rounded edge you only need to do where you think it's going to get too um, clogged up I call it I suppose and end up being too thick and horrible so that for me should do the trick now obviously you're going to get glue all over the place doing this inside so if you can do it outside that's fine right so that area there is the bit I sprayed first so that's going to dry quicker than over here so I start down here and remembering to pull the carpet I almost go a little bit along making sure the carpet is stretching up before I make the initial press down now I know this bit isn't on show but it's still nice to get it to get it right the first time um, I'm going to show you a little technique I've been using for the holes on this but just while we're here and it's up the right way I'm just going to remove this little bit of blade sharp enough because in a mo that these holes are slightly irritating but I'm going to show you a good technique to use on those so again I'm going to work down in this corner here so we're going to try and cut a triangular patch in the corner so that when we fold it over it doesn't all clog up so I am going to go this way to enable this piece there's a little bit of tack left there which is fine I'm going to come out this way, which should be good, and then I'm just going to shave these points off that I don't need so much. Right, this whole edge can go down because you can get those edges sorted. Brilliant, right, let's check this out then. So, adding some glue. I'm going to start with that corner, so I'm going to work my glue this way. So, finish that end off. Pull in the corner, pull in the corner, work my way along, keeping it nice and tight. Before I come back press it all down okay and now we're at this corner right so I'll catch you in a second while I finish this off and then I'm just going to nick the back side I'll just I'll hold it up for you so you know what I'm on about so these little holes obviously you're I'm going to come through this side but these little holes they've gone now um, so you can kind of feel where they are and then I'm just going to cut out the backside where the 
ports are. I mean, you can do that before you fold it over. I tend to do it afterwards, but any method is fine. Okay, so for this little step here, I use a, an old soldering iron. So what I tend to do is find the hole on the show side, poke it through, round it off, and that helps me get the pegs and stuff in in a mo. So I'm gonna work myself all the way around this board and then I'll show you what it looks like when I've finished. There you go, that's what it looks like. See, all your holes are nice and the trim bits will go through a little bit easier. Let's get it in the van. And she's in. Happy days. Right. I'm gonna crack on. What have I got left to do? I'm gonna carpet line this panel that goes in here, covers up the rear aircon unit. Um, I'll then take out the seat belt and refit the seat belt. Um, get the trims back in for the windows. And then we'll have a look around. And that's it all finished up on that side too with the ceiling just left to do well that's it guys um thank you very much for watching the video um if you like the video hit the thumbs up button um, subscribe to the channel uh you can do that in the lower corner and then obviously you can hit the like underneath the video um I'm going to be doing another video on this van uh, and perhaps another one. Uh, I've still got the headline in to sort out um, and I'm also going to be fitting um, some rear speakers into the tailgate door. Um, so that'll be a good video to watch. I'll be adding some um, speakers to the van so then it will have six. Uh, so the two doors, the two tweeters and then the two in the rear. Um, I'll also be putting in some cables potentially for a sub um and make you know get some loud noises so thank you for watching um subscribe to the channel this is tom this is t-dubs see you all soon